Hello and welcome. My name is Benjamin. In today's video, I would like to talk about avoiding bad influences. So this title of this video is avoiding bad influences. In fact, I've made this video before, but I didn't cover it properly. So I decided to remake it because the first one I did, I think I kind of rush it a little bit. So in today's one, I'm going to cover like uh, the areas uh, where we can get easily get influenced in a bad way. So before I proceed, I would like to read a Bible verse. The Bible verse, I mean, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. It says, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. I'll, I'll read it again. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. So, that Bible verse in First Corinth, so that Bible verse in First Corinthians, fifteen thirty three is telling you that those you keep company with, whether you like it or not, will have influence on your character. If you are, if you are, if you are, if you are, if you are keeping the companies of people that are, uh, have ambition, they have goals and they go after those goals. You, of course, that will influence you. You can't be hanging around with winners and, and still be a loser. It, that is not possible and the same goes if you hang if a winner if you hang around with losers long enough you also will become a loser like them so the bible verse in first corinthians 15 33 say make it clear that you should not don't lie to yourself thinking that you're an, an exception that you can't the people you are keeping the company with will not influence you now it's not it's not possible bad com, bad character bad bad company corrupt good character so whoever you are you are you are associating with whoever you are dealing with on a regular basis will always have influence on who you are and how you what you achieve in life so i want to list that the eight group of eight people sources of bad influences in our life there are more but i just think these ones we come in contact with them more than the rest so the number one is family members so your family member you can you can they say you can choose your friend but you can't choose your family members so your family member if you let's say once you are born you are kind of stuck with them you might as you grow older you might cut off association with your family members but they are still your family member whether you cut off contact with them or not because that is that style is set in stone and but the thing is if you have a bad mother that uh, that um let me say let's say your parents let's say your parents are racist like i'm just giving an example i'm not saying they are i'm just saying Let's say your parents are racist. If when you are born in a family by your, your father, your mother is racist, they are always saying racist stuff. They are showing you racist video. They are brainwashing you with racist ideology. It's very difficult for you to go out there and believe in equality or everybody is the same, that God created everybody and uh, there is no one better than the other person. It's just this body we are wearing. This body is not. Who we are it is the it is just a garment we are wearing to experience life in this reality everyone everyone is so everyone is spirit so the spirit of god is in everyone that spirit has the potential to do anything so the body is, is just a garment so you believe in that somebody you are, you are superior to someone it's like me believing that i'm superior to you because i'm wearing like a t-shirt and you're not wearing that t-shirt no, <laughs> that doesn't. So that's how people. That's how being a racist is. You thinking that you are better than somebody based on the garment you are wearing because the flesh, which we are using to experience this reality, is garment. Is the garment we need in order to experience this reality and its limitations. So that's the number one the influence. But uh, number one sources of bad influence. So that's what that number one. Number two is your friends. The, the people you call your friends. Birds of the same feathers flock together. If you have friends with the people that are stealing, robbing, and doing all those kind of things, whether you like it or not, you yourself will become a thief. You'll be start doing that because subconsciously you are picking up those habits. You'll be surprised one day you go somewhere and take something that does not belong to you. You might have said you might have, you might have, you might have convinced yourself that oh I will never steal, I will never rob, I will never do all those kind of things. But because you have been associating with you that. That, that that does that on a regular basis you go with them they do it but you don't take part in it eventually one day you yourself will do it because you've been training your subconscious mind to do it but you're not just aware of it so your friends are the number 
two sources of bad influence. So if you want to avoid bad influence, you have to make sure you know the friends. You, you, you pick your, 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 your friends carefully. You have, to be, you have to be very strict on who you spend your time with. Like I say, family member, you, you, until you grow older and have enough resources to live away from them and separate yourself from them. If if they if they have if they have a bad characteristics that you don't want to be, you don't want to inherit or you don't want to be uh, be known for. F family family member, you, you have to wait until you have enough resources to separate separate yourself from them. But friends, it's quite easy to say. I don't want to associate with that person. I don't want to associate with that person because they have, they do these things and, I, and they they rob, they steal, they engage in so many behaviors which I don't want to be part of. Friends are easy to pick. Yeah, you, you, you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your family. So that's that on, on on that one. Family member you can't pick. Friends you can pick. So you have to pick your friends wisely because whether you like it or not, your friends will influence your this your behavior. They will influence your. They will if they are good. They'll make you better. If they, if you pick good friends, you become a better person in life. If you pick bad company, they will corrupt your character. It, 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 that's how the matrix works. This is how this simulation is is designed. That's how this this reality we are living in is designed. So number three is your work colleague. Yeah, have you seen? So I have seen people that they were they were good people, and all of a sudden they start working with some some person some someone who have a lot of who I, in my own view some people might find them great who, who in my own view they have a lot of bad traits within like 18 months of them working with that person that have bad traits you see that you notice that they picked up those bad characteristics i know somebody I, I used to work with her and she was like a a supervisor in the company and uh, and later I left that company and before I know it, after like uh, 18 months, she started with somebody else. Within like, I think 12 to 18 months, every time she posts something on Facebook, it's all this racist stuff. I have to actually uh, unfriend her because I just, the person that is posting this thing is not the person I knew. The person posting this is somebody completely different. And the only thing that changed was she changed where she was working. She was working with somebody different. And the guy she was working with is always filling her head with um, racist uh, ideology. And before you know it, she's she started to, started to display those characteristics which is what she wasn't known for. So number three source of uh, bad influence is your work colleague. So if somebody you're working with is always saying negative things, is always um, seeing the negative in everything, keep distance from them. In fact, they can move to another area of uh, department if you have to, but just keep distance from them. Number four is the news. You know, have you if you if you want to I, I encourage you to do an experiment. Turn off the your TV. Don't listen to the. Turn off your TV. Don't, don't forget about it. Turn off your TV entirely for like uh, six months. Turn off your TV for entirely for six months. Then after six months, don't that, that have not listening to the news, not watching any movie, not doing any, don't, not watching anything from the TV, and and don't, and don't compensate. Don't. And that includes going on the internet to watch the news. <laughs> so, after six months of not listening to the news on any media, both the TV or uh, social media, or uh, on the radio, anywhere, after six months, switch it back on. You will you suddenly realize that the news the, is like they open their mouth, they are just shooting, like with a machine gun. Bad news upon bad news upon bad news upon bad news upon bad news. And it hit you like it, before, you don't notice it, but now you are pull yourself away from that environment for like six months. Now you can actually feel like this thing is like a, a direct assault on your subconscious mind. They as they, they shoot the negative news at you consistently. So before you knew it, you are hating someone without knowing why you are hating them. You are this you you are calling someone the most dangerous person, even though they, when, when they give you a, ask you to list why that person is the most dangerous person alive. You can't see, but the news have told you that because they, by listening to them, they have they program you uh, slowly but surely. They they pretend that they are giving you new, they are giving you information, but the information is well uh, well designed so that you will believe what they want you to believe. They didn't present the news to you in a way that okay, you decide. No, it's the way they present it to you is for you. They want you to believe what they want you to believe. Not they didn't give you. 
they didn't want you to decide on your, by yourself because they know that most people don't want to make a decision. So they make the, they they carefully present it to you in a way that you say, okay, this is the truth. Uh, the what she's saying is the truth, and uh, that person is bad, and you don't even you, you don't even go out, you don't even try to do your own independent research. So the news is the number four uh, um, source of bad influence. So if you want to if you want to cut off a large portion of bad influence in your life, you have to stop watching the news, listening to it, because whether I like it or not, those information you picked up from listening and watching the news stays with you for quite a long time. So you'll be processing it, processing it, processing it. And while you are processing it, you are talking to yourself and it's going straight into your subconscious mind. Eventually, you start hitting somebody for no reason whatsoever. Why? Because the news have told you so. The number five source of bad influence is social media. Oh my God, if you go to, <laughs> if you go to anybody you know right now, ask them to show you their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account. You will notice that they are completely, the, the Facebook personality is completely different from the, uh, the Facebook personality is completely different from their Twitter personality. It's like on Facebook or on LinkedIn, for example, they are professional, nice, family man or family woman, or a loving neighborhood, neighbor, loving neighbor. On Twitter, they are raging races. <laughs> they are they are they are streaming of one kind or the other. And you're like, was is that the same person? Yes, it is, because the social media have given them this platform. You can be anonymous and say whatever you want to say, especially on Twitter. So when you go on Twitter, for example, you notice that is everything is hitting is negative news negative news negative news some people go out of their way to find negative news to bring on twitter they don't present those negative news on let's say on on, on linkedin or facebook but they go out of their way to find negative news to bring on twitter because that is where they exhibit their negative side so and if you go there and you start doing that you start engaging them eventually you it will bring out the, the negative side of you you end up becoming some angry angry person that you are not some you become something you are not just because you are engaging in and uh, with those negative people on twitter so you have to know that your social media especially twitter and instagram they are source of negative influences number num that's number five social media number six is music most most music, music are good but no music at now most music now are filled with some things like if you break down the lyrics you're like what is this person this is just awful we see something some music lyrics i don't want to mention names but some some music lyrics are promoting pedophilia some music lyrics are promoting uh, rape some music music are promoting violence and uh, these are coming from big labels some music labels are promoting witchcraft some music labels are promoting all kinds of all kinds of abomination, even bestiality. You'll be like, how would anyone go to the studio, open their mouth, and this thing comes out, and they record it, and they put it on uh, on uh, platforms such as such uh, on platforms such as Spotify and uh, Apple Apple Music, Apple Music uh, and Google Google Play. So music, and when you listen to that music pro, uh, programs, you whether you like it or not. Music is one of the biggest sources of programming the subconscious mind. So in fact, if you want to program your mind to become whatever you want to become, if you record that, uh, let it use your I am affirmations, then you add, uh, then at the uh, le second level, you put the audio of the music, you tune it down a little bit, your subconscious mind will actually, uh, actually as absorb that uh, I am affirmation quicker because you put it, a music tone underneath it. It sounds much more. There's no resistance. There's little or no resistance to it. So music is a big one. It can program your subconscious mind effectively with using music. And when you're listening to music, it's actually going most. If it's actually going to your subconscious mind, so you have to be careful about the type of music you listen to. In fact, I personally believe a lot of violence in the black community is is a direct result of the music they're listening listening to. I, I have no doubt about that. If you change the lyrics in a black community, the music in the hip hop and rap, if you change the lyrics and the tune and the and the sound of it, because if I listen to music, the, the music and like let's say, let's say Dolly Parton, the old country music, 
let's say you're, all your life you're listening to Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers. Those are country music. I don't think one day you just pick up a gun and start shooting people for no reason. Or somebody says something to you, then you drive up and start shooting like the streets. People happening in, in, in America or in the UK where I live now, you listen to some dream music or uh, grand music, you then go and... Because those music are subconsciously programming them. And what they don't know is that the guys, the people making those uh, make, sounding like that, they are tough, they are dangerous, they are this, they are that. They are not that. They are, some of them are, but a lot of them are not. They, it's because they, if they are in the studio saying it, it, so they can say whatever they want. And the guy that listen to it, and I think, oh, uh, you not listen to it, and you get pumped up. So you pick up a gun, you pick up a knife, you stab someone, you shoot someone. Then before you know it, he spent like 20 years, 30 years in prison. By the time he comes out, everything has changed. His, his life is wasted because he allowed the music he's listening to to program him to become what he's, what he's not supposed to be. So music is number six source of our biggest uh, negative influence. Number I would put number number seven I put as online influencers because I'm online influencers like pod, uh, people you see on the internet like on mostly on um, Instagram and TikTok. I've seen people watching those uh, pe uh, people doing some stupid things on. On, on those platform and they go ahead and copy it and they end up getting getting killed they end up getting killed some people who saw someone on on instagram going to eat someone is eating another person comes up puts take something from their person tossing food and start eating like now i'm eating in a rest in a restaurant and someone does come a stranger just come and take the what i'm one of my food and start eating it and I'm looking at the guy and say, what is, what is this guy doing? So they, they call it a prank. And somebody else will watch it and say, hmm, let me go and do that prank. They will go and do the same thing. But the person they are dealing with that, that's eating, is, 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 is killed. he has killed before. So killing has, is not, um, is not uh, something that is foreign to him. In fact, he has, been, he, has been pro he has programmed his mind to kill. So now you are, he's eating and you come over here. Because you watch some things on online, somebody putting because it's a very distress for you to put your hand in somebody's meal, especially if your hand is not washed, it doesn't know you. It's one of the biggest disrespectful things you can ever do. So you they put your hand, you put your hand in that person's food and take it. He might take out a gun and shoot you. He might bring out a knife and stab you because he has killed before, and this has happened to many people because go on because they think that it's a joke. So if you think this is, uh, I'm making this up, go on uh, Instagram, go on YouTube, type, type pranks gone wrong. You see people who did some stupid prank, they end up getting killed. And some people make did some stupid prank and people died from it. Why? Because they were watching other people do it and they say, let me copy. And another on you know, online influencers, they do some, they bring that, bring, uh, do uh, some trend, promote some trend. It could be like unhealthy heat eating habit or uh, some dangerous uh, diet uh, diet regime and some people copy that same diet regime and they end up dead because that is they are just trying the the thing they are doing they didn't research it they didn't check how the how it will affect different types of people because everybody is not the same so online influencers are the number seven source of bad influence so you have to be careful who you have watching on the social media or uh, on the, or even on the TV, so you have to be careful who you are listening to and watching, so they don't influence you and you can kill yourself doing the stupid things they did. Number eight is podcasters. Podcaster is like what I'm doing here, but it's, uh, how, uh, it's, it's, I'm not doing podcasting. But if I'm doing podcasting, you see a microphone in my mouth. I'll be asking questions. I'll be talking to someone, and, and they'll be listening. We'll be interacting and everything, but. Some of these podcasts, there's nothing wrong with it. You can, I can discuss any topic. You can, you can discuss from, uh, climate change. You can discuss uh, a diet. You can discuss, you can discuss uh, the politics. You can discuss anything on podcasting. But some people present their podcasting as if it's the gospel truth. So I, everybody have an idea. So, but that idea have to be, have to be scrutinized so that it doesn't go that and away with existing facts. Before I start presenting it as fact to you, most people on a lot of podcasters present their uh, things they dream up in their head as fact, 
and they, they start pushing it and just spreading it. And some people buy it and they, 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 they buy into that, that uh, message and they start to live their life that way and they end up being disappointed because it, it's not getting them the result they, they think it will get. I don't want to mention it, but you know a lot of podcasters that are out there that they just say some crazy things and they present it as fact and people believe that what they're saying is the truth. Some, some even go out of their way to manufacture the, the evidence and you believe that and you make make a decision based on those things you hear, hear from them and you lose because it's, it's, not, it's, it's not based on the truth. So these eight sources are, these eight uh, sources, I believe, are the biggest source of bad influence. So you have to be careful who you are listening to. Even me, if I say something you do not agree with, if I say many things, anything you do not agree with, don't believe me. Ask somebody else. Question whatever, any, anything, yeah, anything I say or any, anyone says. Whatever anyone says or you hear from anyone, question it. If something does not align with the truth inside you, don't accept it. Go out there, get more information from different sources. Then the truth, you'll be surprised, are always aligned together. The truth you get in, let's say, Mozambique, and the truth you get in, um, let's say, Kuwait, if you put them together, you realize that it's actually the truth. And both of them are saying the same thing. Maybe they say it in a different way, but they're saying the truth because the truth is universal and the truth is in each and every one of us. So I want to make this video to let you know that the, there, these sources of bad influences, you have to be careful because like the Bible says again, I repeat in 1 Corinthians 15.33, do not be misled. Evil company corrupt good character. Whoever you are keeping company with, be it digital, be it in real life, they will corrupt your character. If, if, if they, they may corrupt it, <laughs> they, if they are bad people, they will corrupt it badly. But if they are good people, they will improve it. So the, let me list the last eight the, the, the eight sources of bad influence again before I finish. Number one is family members. Your dad, your mom, your sister, your brother, you know them. Number two is your friends. The ones you have in the school, in your work, uh, in your gym, we know them. You know, people you talk with, even your online friends. So those, that's number two. Number three is work colleagues. Your work colleagues, you have to pick the right one. Some, some of them might influence you. Some of them might even destroy your career. So you have to be careful. Number four is the news. The news is the, news is the worst thing you can do to yourself. Do not listen to the news. Turn it off. Believe me, if you turn off the news for two years, five years, you realize you haven't missed anything. So why are you listening to it and you feel, and you feel your mind and you, both your conscious and subconscious mind with negativity? So that's number four. Number five is social media. Number, no, social media influences us in more ways that, than we are aware of. So be careful of what you are watching and listening to and emulating. That's number five. Number six is music. The lyrics in music, if, if you are listening to any music and you don't agree with the lyrics, turn it off. Switch, pick another one. Number six is music, like I said. Number seven is online influencers. <coughs> so, you know what I asked, cover that already. And number eight, last but not least, is podcasters. So, the podcasters, the truth, the word they said to you, don't just take it as, as the gospel truth. Do your own research. Find other sources and don't let them become your your orator, your mentor without uh, without you verifying their information. You have to verify every information you're getting from anyone, including myself. So I hope this video has been helpful to you to understand sources of uh, bad influences. I'm sure everybody knows this. It's just that sometimes, most times really, we don't really need any training or lecture. You just need to be remember. Uh, Re refresh our memory so this is just to remind you of sources of negative influence thank you for watching and uh, if you like this kind of video i would like it i really appreciate it if you like subscribe or leave a comment so thank you for watching and see you on the next video bye for now